Hey everyone, uh, this is Laura again with Davis Creations 34. I have again Sophia here as my student, and we are going to do yes, she's saying hi everyone. We're going to do another how to draw, and today we're going to draw a tree frog. So, um, if you all would grab your paper and pencil and follow along as we go. So, first thing we're going to do is that we're going to begin with contour lines and then we will draw the mass shapes for the head, body, eyes, and so on. Um, what I mean by the first one is going to be the contour lines and the gestures is its initial indication and impression of your subject. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to begin with a circle. matter if it's perfect don't worry about it just do a circle all right and then on the side we're gonna have a smaller circle one for the eye on the my left and now we're gonna do one on the right so one almost will look like it's laying on the head and the other one's sticking up okay so this one Sophia make it more vertical if you can, so we'll keep that in mind. The My right hand of the frog eye is going to be more vertical, where this one's horizontal or diagonal laying on the head, okay? All right. Don't worry if you don't think it's perfect. I'm just giving you the basic steps, okay, everyone? Now, like I said, we're doing the gesture. Let's go ahead and do his frog body. It's gonna overlap that head, but it needs to be bigger than the head, okay? Almost looks like a, you know, like a panda bear we're about to do, or a snowman. But I do promise you it is a frog. Good job. All right. So let's come down right here. Here's his shoulder, the left, my left hand side of the circle. Why don't we bring a line down and curve it, okay? That's gonna be his arm. Uh, your right, sweetie, on this side. So you're gonna bring it down from that shoulder and curve it around. So your oval needs to be bigger than his head. So if you would bring it out more, there you go. That's a good. That's good to your right. Bring him out more to the left here. His body. <clears throat> it's okay if you have to keep erasing. There's not a big problem. And then again, right now we're just gesturing. So now on on your right and my right, we're gonna drag down from the shoulder again. Keep it on the line. You're following the line. You're gonna do another arm, okay? And let me make sure that you guys. Or seeing me. Great. You guys can see me. All right. So it, it looks like a funny fat parrot to me that it's starting to grow here, but it's not. I promise it's a frog. So stay, staying on the right hand side, we're going to draw an upside diagonal U, okay? That's its knee, part of its leg, okay? Make it look like a U the best you can. All right. Now you need to be on this side. Keep with me, Sophia, you follow me and you won't get lost. Don't go ahead of your teacher, okay? Now on the left-hand side, same thing. Let's do a U, a diagonal upside down U, okay? Now from this, on the left-hand side, let's draw the toes, okay? A toe or a line, curved line, and a circle. Another curved line and a circle and do that for me on the opposite side. So this one closest to his arm is gonna be a little bit smaller, so it almost looks like a cherry, right? See how that looks, Sophia? And the middle one's gonna look like somebody just set off a bomb, a little bit longer, and the third one as well, okay? From this point, we're gonna draw a line going towards the body, okay? 
So when we draw this, this frog's little hand or finger is going to be underneath behind the log, okay? Now from that, just draw two circles for me. No lines connecting to it, okay? So on this hand right here. Yeah, you need to be on your right side. So as we go, Sophie is learning along with us. This is also her art class, so she gets to challenge herself. So remember, we need one towards. Yeah, there you go. All right. Now let's go to the left side. The left side is going to be a little different. We're going to draw a line out and a circle. Okay. You want a line towards the frog's body and a circle. See how it's going towards under his belly, and then a line down and a circle. Everybody got that? Here is our frog. I keep thinking that's some eraser dust or whatever. All right, now we're gonna go to step two. Now what I want you to do is you're gonna use the gesture to sketch the frog's outline. So you're gonna follow the contour lines and the mass shapes. So we're gonna do this. So also I wanted to make note, and I didn't say this earlier, when you're drawing the gestures, the beginning part, you wanna go very lightly. Now we wanna kind of pick up our, um, the darkness and the pressure on the paper. You wanna put the frog mouth kind of at a point. He's gonna be facing to the left. So that's gonna be kind of his lips and mouth. Again, we're only outlining and connecting, okay? How are we doing over there? Did I lose ya? So you would be, yes, and then. So if you wanna erase some of these lines, those are probably tripping you up just a little. Okay. I also should suggest everyone if and Sophia, if the first gesture lines you do are too similar to your outline, I require you to get like a matte pencil or something and go and do your outline because that will help you. So you follow along with this, Sophia, if you can, and also me. See up here on number two. I have pre-drawn out my lesson and I have it on the board for her and I. So if anybody was wondering, because I know YouTube land, TV land, whatever you want to call it, um, you guys are probably not seeing what we are looking at. So if you look right here, you'll curve it up into the belly, okay? And you're gonna put, you're gonna make like a Y. All right, now curve it up, there you go, good job. See right here, look at this, Sophia. So you see the Y, you can look at this reference. Okay, so curve that up. Good job. All right, somebody didn't get some sleep last night because we are yawning. Let's put a crease in our leg. And if you look at it, it kind of looks like a tongue, like somebody's sticking their tongue out, okay? So the crease right there, that's where the leg's bending. And we're gonna come, and again, we're gonna outline the toe just outlining. You are gonna leave these lines in your drawing, okay? There we go. We should have our left side done. Let's move on over to our right side, okay? And again, we're contouring the outline of our gesture lines. Filling it in. Oh man, all right. Now if you'll look at the eye, we're gonna do a line underneath, okay? That gives it the, mm, the eyelids. It starts to form there, okay? How are we doing? That looks good, good job. All right, what time should you go to bed? Um, 12. Oh, that makes sense. I actually want to 
Oh, 1 a.m. Somebody please send us energy drink for Sophia. <laughs> I'm probably not gonna let me get an energy drink. Yeah, no. I'm joking. We're gonna now draw our mouth, okay? So from the corner all the way across, guys, and drop it down. Drop it down. Okay. All right, so we have that part. We're gonna go from, say, his side of his face here. We're gonna come down lightly and do his neck, okay? A frog's looking really funny. I know you're probably sitting there thinking this is really weird, but I promise you in the end, we're gonna get it looking like a frog. All right, so let's outline the right side of our hand. Again, don't worry, it doesn't have to be perfect. You guys don't have to be perfect. Now, if you'll pay attention to this real quick, Sophia, his finger looks like it's flipped up like a little shoe. Well, what it's doing, it's gonna be gripping under our tree log, okay? So that's what it's doing. And for you guys following along, that is going underneath, okay? Now let's bring our other fingers out and Connect them. Hopefully everybody's following along online. Now remember I told you this line right here that's jotting out, this is going behind the log also. So we wanna make it almost like a triangle, okay? If I'm losing you, let me know. If I need to stop, you let me know, Sophia. So here we go, we're gonna make a line, it's another Y, all right? Is everyone else online is watching me? Do I need to stop for you? Look at them toes. Look at those toes, it's got fingernails. <laughs> it's funny because he looks like he literally, we'll be erasing those later, everyone, so don't worry. It looks like we can see our frog's veins and everything else, so. All right, so still on the right hand side, let's make that knee or that leg look like a leg. Okay, so put your separating line in that. So now it looks like a tongue. And then we're gonna go under here and there's one, two, three toes. Let's draw the outline. Think about the direction of his toes, where they'd be pointing. Do you see how I'm directing the toe? So if this was a toenail, it would be up and to the right, okay? You see that? on? Sophia and what I'm doing. It would look quite funny if we tried to go like that, okay? That looks funny. So we don't want to do that, okay, everyone? Keep it in the direction that we're pointing to. And then you make a little knuckle. So this is like a knuckle, knuckle toe, okay? Now the reason why this looks like over here is because it's gripping down, but again, He's pointing his toes in that direction, right? Is that how yours is following? Kind of. Kind of? Well, we keep practicing. I know this is your first time to how to draw a frog. Okay, so, and then of course the belly is all right down here. We're gonna get more detail in that, but don't worry about it. All right, next step is we're gonna fill in the details. So we're gonna focus on the outlining of the body mass structure of the muscle pay attention to where the weight is sitting so think about it so when I go in here and I'm going to draw in the detail of this tummy his weight is pressed on that belly okay so he's gonna make a little fat roll here wouldn't you say Sophia so this outer line pretty dark okay and then we'll have where this indention is coming out for his neck and all right and sorry guys if I stop and I'm just watching Sophia I'm making sure she's staying with me also all right let's work on just doing the outline of the eyes so we're just gonna put a line so starting on your left our left everyone left 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 you're just going to put it up towards, you're going to curve it. I would curve it more this way. Just curve. 
curve it along. Like, say this is an egg turned on its side diagonal, and you want it to look like it has a leaf coming up on it, okay? Now the other side is gonna be a diamond. It's a slit in his eye, okay? More to the right side of your eye. You follow that? Now in this part of the lip, or the mouth underneath the nostrils, we're gonna do a lift. Like almost like a little ant hill. And there we go. I'm gonna erase this. So everyone, if you're following along, just erase that. And we're gonna go down and up. Down and up. So you almost wanna make, looks like a V and an M, okay? Our fourth step, well it's time to do the fine line drawing to go over the biggest areas of the body. Before adding the details in, we're gonna do the eyes like the little men last, okay? So let's go back to our eye right here and we're gonna erase some of our circle. And like we're drawing a C, and we're gonna erase a little bit under here. And bring that down and around, okay? Nice. If you will get on this eye at the top, draw up a portion of the eyelid. <laughs> <clears throat> and you can begin to erase these, okay? We start to erase these extra sketch lines that we used. I'm going to get a bigger eraser, everyone, as you can do that. And I think I need my eye. It looks a little funny, don't you guys think? We need to bring this up a little bit more. There we go. Now we got our eye. Frogs look better. All right, so this part right here that's under the neck, let's kind of round it and pull it up, okay? Got it? All right, now under the mouth where we drew down this line, let's round that out more. So here's our detail, we're rounding this, okay? And we can erase this, all right? And here we go. See, this was our just your contour lines right here. We can erase those. So erase your line that goes into its arm. Uh, down to its wrist and then stop for me, okay? Because I want everybody to look at their frog. Your frog should be very close to looking like this, okay? A great thing about you guys watching on YouTube versus me and Sophia here is you guys can pause it and then come back to it. All right, this knee looks good, but the thing is, is it needs to be more pointed knee, okay? So we're gonna erase that. Not too much of a point, but like where it, like it comes up to the heel and it falls down. Your tongue now is sharp. Does yours look sharp? There you go, good job. Now go ahead and erase the lines in your toes. Toenails. Okay. And toe the toes of the frogs are pretty narrow. They're not so fat. So you could slim your toes up just a bit. You can take it up and slim it up. Do you see like on mine right there? The tip of his toe is fatter than the the length of it. All right. 
And again, just go through here and let's erase all these extra lines that we see because we don't need all these lines anymore. Clean up your picture on the left side of our frog. Let's not focus on the right side, just the left. So move on down to the fingers. We're gonna draw a line where this intersection of the two fingers come together. So on your left side, down at the bottom right here, Sophia, you're gonna draw a line right in there. See it right here? You wanna draw this line where this intersection is. And then draw out the outline of your toe and put those details, like sharp lines. And you can go ahead and erase the circle and the line inside of them too. So it should look like a Y right here. And you have a Y in your section. See right here, Sophia? That looks like a tiny Y. And this finger will kind of go over it. I hope you guys can still see. And yes, you can. Thank goodness. Let's finish up and we are good to go on that side. All right, now we're moving to our right hand side of our frog. Now this arm looks funny with this hump right here and it's connected. We wanna bring this arm up into that like it's sitting on, in front of it, okay? So the hump should be in the back of the arm. Sophia, the hump will come up. So you're again, you're making another Y. Do you guys see the Y? If you look at it. And you can erase all those extra lines. I would suggest erasing yours, Sophia, because I think most of them are getting in the way of your sketch. There you go. Am I going too fast for you, Sophia? All right, good job. on the right side you can erase erase those lines in the eyeballs so go ahead and erase some of your extra lines here's all these fat flaps okay guys the frogs rolls because like it said like I said earlier you need to focus on where he's sitting where where that um where the weight is sitting at, okay? So it's pressing it down. I'm gonna come in here and make this a little smaller. You guys do whatever you want, but I'm gonna make mine a little bit smaller, okay? Look at that. So remember what we did earlier with this knee? We're gonna do the same thing with this one, okay? You're gonna come up with a little point and it's like a dropping off and going back into the arm. Yup, yup, yup. Let's go ahead and erase the lines in our toes. Let's get rid of those. And if you erase the outline of your toe, just go back over it. That's what we do every time. Sophia and I will walk through the artwork and she will have to re-add her lines. All right, same thing with these. Woo, almost lost it. Same thing with the fingers. Okay, there needs to be a line in the middle of the finger, okay? These think that these are like the, you see the knuckles and the muscles and the joints in our hand? Let's draw that in right there. 
and then let's bring those fingers like it's gripping and bring it up just slightly. Now you're thinking, well oh, that's weird because here's a knuckle right here. This frog's hand is twisted all funny, right? Bring this out and up. Extend the hand just a little. There you go. This is the round part of it, like the sticky part of the toad or the frog's fingers. And then I'm going to narrow mine out just a little and make it fat at the end. There you go. There's the knuckle. There's the connection to the thumb of the frog's finger, the hand. Now over here you're like, well, I only see three fingers. Well, that's because his little thumb or whatever you want, yeah, thumb is behind the wood that we're gonna add. You won't see it. I guess it's it's almost like it's back behind that. So it's hidden. So you don't have to draw it because that would look pretty funny if I drew a thumb out there, an extra. What I was always taught is you don't add what you don't see, you only draw what you see, okay? Because when we go to adding those things, unless it's something that's your own creation, you're creating a weird monster design, you do not add. Does that make sense, Sophia? You draw what you see, you don't add. On the on our right side again there is the log coming out behind the toes okay where he's sitting Got it. and I didn't add this on my last one but I did add, add it right there you can see we got the tree limb coming out behind the left side of her toes in the back Again, you, it doesn't have to be straight, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's a tree limb, okay? Now from the middle of his arm, the forearm, we're gonna bring the line out this way, okay? This would be like a branch and how it comes to a split. You're not gonna go all the way up to his, his arm on this one, you're gonna come uh, you're gonna bring it down some. Do you guys see that? Bring it down and then begin to draw. So you are creating a V. Okay, do you see that? Yeah, good job. So let me look at it real quick. So you wouldn't go all the way here. You would go somewhere in there and draw that out. So, yeah. so just erase that part that you did. And there's nothing wrong with having to erase our stuff over and over again. Now we're at the point where we can fill in our eyeballs. So go ahead, everyone, and fill in. You see what I'm doing, Sophia? Point the, that, the dark pupil out, like he's looking out that way. He's, a, he's actually looking both ways, because they look funny, frogs do. Um, fill this in everyone it should be like a little diamond slit for the eye there we go here you have it this is how we draw a tree frog Aww. and everyone of course wants to see Sophia's work here is Sophia's an awesome drawing of a tree frog let's light this all off as you can see like I said when you do very dark lines it's very hard to erase. I just want to thank Sophia for being here and doing this with me, the how to draw. So again, I just want to thank everyone who joined in. I hope you enjoyed this how to draw. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, share and like. And um, yeah, we just thank you. And everyone have a great day.